katoa, no mai hari mai ki te o kahukura, ki rima te kaumaroa nga kapa i te motu, i pa hiko hiko i te whakataitai o waru te kaumarima, e nai nei, e roa noa e toi ana. 52 clubs from across the country entered the Under 85's knockout comp back in May, and now just two remain, the Takapuna Bombers versus the Christchurch High School Old Boys. No hands! Kōrau Hal. Wriggling through tackles there, De Souza. Now again, McNulty. Willing to cut back inside to make ground a good floating pop up ball there from the halfback. Kōrau Hal getting creative in his distribution and then defiant. Kōrau Hal is over! Tane Kōrau Hal scores the first try of the match. Brilliant work there from the Light Bears. They're over for the first points of the game. The most brilliant thing about this from the Light Bears is just their determination. Every time they run with the ball, they just tuck their heads down and pump the legs. You can see they're always wriggling, trying to stay on their feet. The ball squirted out there in the end, and it just opened up for them, didn't it? A little bit of obstruction there, I would say, probably from McNulty. You can see God in the middle of that tackler. But no TMO here in the under 85s, and we'll give it to them. So kickoff from Blackburn. It's high and hanging. Oh, that's a dangerous challenge there. I hope both players are all right. Just badly timed. So there's no TMO for the referees, but you can see here is the challenge. Well, both of them end up getting coming off second best, don't they? Because but you've yeah. taken the man in the air, and he's ended dangerously on his neck, okay? So I've got no other option, okay? It's a red card, okay? Oh, no. That's right. Massive moment here in the proceedings of this match, of this final. Nathan Archibald leaves the field red carded. A dangerous challenge. Takapuna will have to adjust to playing with 14 men. Sit! So now, Obl Bears with a scrum just outside the 22. A reminder, they're playing with an extra man advantage. No hands, leave Free Bear leave offloading it. to Anderson, who's isolated, but they'll retain possession. George Blackburn is down injured, so they've got an advantage for Cole on the outside. He's going to score it. That number advantage paying off for the Light Bears, and it's George Cole, the fullback, who'll score their second try. Well, in the opening minutes of the game, Takapuna looked like they were dominating, and all of a sudden it's just totally turned, and it's the Light Bears, and it's just a numbers game here, and the acceleration, too, from Cool was quite remarkable because Southworth is not slow in any sense of the word, but it's just a numbers game, as you said, the quick hands and good skill as well. They're trying to rally to build energy in the defence. And that ball was forward, the pass or play advantage. The substitution in 21, Akuso Vai with the kick. Anderson takes it to contact and now high school old boys build again. No, 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 thank you. Cordell Hull going back short side, finding Cool, the danger man. Here he goes again. What an offload! Gibson now on the inside. He's going to find his blindside flanker, Ryan McNulty, and that is one heck of a try. Excellent work from the Light Bears. That's another try at 17 and 0. But they've been such a pleasure to watch. You can see here just trying to find some space out on the edge, and it was that sweet offload under the arm, popped it up, but also the vision and support play, and then just that left foot step. It was so hard for the halfback, and Ephraim's just tracking across because as soon as someone puts in that step as you're trying to make that tackle, it's just too hard to stop. And good vision, brilliant cohesion from this team. Seven phases now. Can they create something? It's Drew Smith through the hand. Southworth, the knock on. And now it's hacked downfield. Braden Smith getting back after it. The big lock doing well to cover there. Ephraim's taking his time at the boot. Manages to fling it out to Hawk. And he clears. It's a high kick and it's taken down by Gibson. Gibson still going. Great hands. Back inside and George Cole. 
just like that. We'll get a second try. High school old boys, the light bears are rampant. There was multiple phases there where I was looking out at the team and every time the light bears made a break, well, the Takapuna players were just walking back and so it was always a numbers game for them. And it's just the ability to keep the ball alive for Takapuna and the tactic that got them down here in the end is what I said before, the kicking. They're just kicking it a lot and pinning the bombers down here, forcing them to make their own mistakes. And that's what this that's what this came from. It was a mistake, it was a knock-on, and they're down the right end of the field. And they've just absolutely been starved of possession and territory. Sit! Advantage again. Another Here's advantage. This is what Takapuna want. They want to start stacking penalties. It's working a treat so far. They play with an advantage. They can chance her arm. Vi wants the ball. He's throwing away the forwards. Braden Smith, close to the line. Well, it's hard and over. And finally, the Bombers detonate. They get their first try. They need it there. Big time. And I love what the halfback was doing there because he just wanted his team to get some width because you can see there, there was so much space out on that left-hand side. They were keeping it in close quarters and then it is opened up at the ruck and it was Rutledge Harding who ended up scoring. Faria, nice deep throw that was taken down. Ned O'Brien doing well, so a good line out. And they can exit here cleanly through Vi. It's charged, and he's after it. He's going to get to it first. He sure is. Jose de Souza with the try. That's great work from the hooker. And high school old boys extend their lead. It's 31 to 7. But he had plenty of time. He absolutely absorbed too much time with that kick. And then it was just a determined run coming in from de Souza. And as I said, it's a huge end goal. The first half over, the Light Bears well over the Bombers. They've dominated the first half of proceedings. It's 33 to 7. We'll see you after the break. Use it now. Wait half. Go. Ephraim's at first receiver, dangerous and straight through them. Jackson Ephraim's looking for his options. A big wide pass. Hood Kaitapu dragged to ground. He needs support. He gets back to his feet. He wasn't held in the tackle. Ephraim's from scrum half. Here they come. Takabuna, this is their chance. Charwood. Tafia. Good tackle on him. De Souza coming in. Drew Smith. Pick and go. Wide. A kick from the big line. You've got to take your hat off to Ephraim. He has been a standout for this Bombers team where they have really struggled to get their hands on the ball. He gets a brilliant clean break. The support players there from Hood, and then it's the recycling. They get closer and closer, but <laughs> Braden Smith, stop it, cut it out. Putting the grubber in and scoring it was Bollard. I mean, that's one of the all-time greats. You can see that that position still... Takapuna really haven't had their hands on the ball. That, that territory stat actually surprises me because you'd still think that high school Five. old boys would have so much more of it. But that time in opposition Six. 22, I mean, five and a half minutes, pretty Ooh. crucial. Again, high school old boys squeezed at scrum time, but they managed to get the ball away in an excellent offload. Sees Anderson through the gap. Will he get to the line? He will. And just like that, they hit back. High school old boys cannot be denied. The light bear over through Tom Anderson. Brilliant strike set piece move as well. It just opened up for them completely. That's what you practice each week at training in the cold and sometimes a very cold crush it should I say as well. Under five, five. minutes away from a national title. Set. <laughs> a big scrum coming in. Advantage. This has been their calling card today. Takabuna, their big scrum is O'Brien at the back is over. They deserve that. Matt O'Brien, the captain. 
takes a try for a full eight-man shove. Steady as a rock at the back. So this season, that has been his absolute forte. And he's done it in the grand final. He did really well to reach back. He was almost in a split trying to reach back and get that one. To celebrate what has been an excellent season of 85 kg rugby. Freddie Gibson, wide ball, not called forward. Freebie in. The ball deflected, cool, offloads. Now Freebie in again. Over to Scott, and he's in the clear. What a try to finishing the Ben Scott. Puts the exclamation mark on an epic performance here by the Light Bears. 45 to 17. Just good hands and good vision. I mean, that did go very forward. But as we said, there's no TMO in the under 85, so they'll play on. And that's what you need to do with this screen at all grades. You just need to play to the referee. And that's exactly what the Light Bears did. And this year, they're avenged. They've come into the final, traveled all the way up from Christchurch. And now with this kick, fading away, it won't matter. They're champions, the Light Bears are the under 85 kg national champs.